All right, this is Steve Marcinkowski with RunMichigan.com. We are here talking to Bobby Curtis, the top American here at the Chicago Marathon. Runs with the Hanson's Brooks Distance Project. Uh, his huge PR of 2.11.20 from 2.13.24, ninth overall. Uh, Bobby, explain how the, uh, how the race was for you. Uh, the race for the American guys was kind of a time trial. We just agreed beforehand to go out in 65.30 and just see how long we could last together and feed off of each other. And so that was kind of how the race went. Mo uh, paced us through about 12 miles, then Matt Lano and I worked together until about 17 or 18 miles, and then um, I was alone uh, pursuing a Japanese runner in Wesley career for the rest of the race. So it, it worked out really well for me. How are the conditions for you? It was slightly windy. Like we, Everyone was hoping it was going to be like that career perfect day that you, you always hope for, like the Palo Alto of 10K for the marathon. But it was a little bit windy, but I'm not complaining because it was probably the, the best conditions I've run a marathon in. And speaking of marathons, how many have you run so far? This was my third marathon. I ran New York in 2011 and Fukuoka in 2013. And previously you are a uh, more so a track runner, yep. uh, PR of sub-28 in the 10K, correct? Yeah, I've run 13, 18 for 5K and 27, 24 for 10K. And explain how your track experience, that speed work that you've put in, how does that translate for you coming into the marathon? Uh, previous to today, it didn't translate very well. Uh, so I've, I've always had better track PRs than longer distance PRs. So I'm hoping I'm getting stronger as the, the training progresses with uh, Kevin and Keith. And so um, this was a step in the right direction. I still want to get faster over the marathon, but um, I think all the strength and high mileage is starting to pay off. And do you see yourself sticking at this marathon distance, kind of dropping down to the half? Possibly, like I still think I could maybe PR in the 10K on the track, and I'm going to keep that option open for the upcoming Olympic trials. But also, I'm going to, you know, be very serious about pursuing the marathon for the trials as well. So I'm um, going to try to do both at the same time. Now, I overheard in the press conference that you are considering a run in uh, cross country this uh, this coming winter. Uh, explain a little bit about that. Uh, I don't know, I haven't done cross in a while and it's just going to work out well, like take a little time off after this and uh, try to get an okay shape for club cross um, and that will hopefully get me ready for uh, BUPA in January and then uh, the World Cross Trials and then hopefully World Cross Country Championships. It's only two, every two years now so I just wanted to, to do it uh, just for the sake of doing it. Well, we uh, thank you very much for talking to us today. It was an amazing day out there, I agree. Uh, congratulations on your top American finish and ninth overall, as well as your PR. Okay, thank you.